Hi, Jeff for the Cast Bullet Association again. I thought it was time I talked a little bit about mould maintenance and some little tips and tricks we can do just to tweak our moulds and make them perform better. So the first one we're going to talk about is sprue plates. And so here's a, a sprue plate of a little Lyman single cavity mould. And often what we find with new moulds, and it shouldn't happen but it does and that's the way of the world, is that the sprue plate isn't mated 100% to the top of the mould. That being, there's a bit of a gap underneath and we can end up with finning on the base of the bullets. way to check for this is with your, your sprue plate in place, hold the mould up to the light and looking through here, with the mould pointing at the light, if you can see any light showing at all, then you've got a bit of an issue. Not difficult to fix, pop the sprue plate off, we get ourselves some abrasive cloth, like some 400 grit here, under this I've got a lump of very flat hard steel. Um, glass is also good, glass is nice and flat. Pop the sprue plate on and with nice central constant pressure we just run it backwards and forwards and eventually we'll take the high spots out. And if you look at this plate here you can see a bit of a high spot there, a bit of a high spot there. It doesn't take long to fix it, very straightforward. Another little issue we get is sometimes bullets don't drop from moulds as easily as they should do. And this is caused mostly by microscopic little burrs that hang around the edges of the cavity from where the mould's been machined. Now, the way to fix this is to lap them out using a fine abrasive compound, uh, maybe something like some very fine gr uh, valve grinding paste I have here, or a cutting compound that you might polish your car with. Take a bullet and we drill a hole in the base of it and put a screw in like this and I'll put a couple of photos up here that I took just so that you can see what I'm getting at. And then we apply some of our abrasive to the bullet all over and holding everything in our hands so that it can move around freely we pop the bullet in the mould, hold it just nice and firm but not uh, not too hard and then just rotate the bullet with our cordless drill and in no time at all our little wee mould has been lapped out and all those nasty little burrs that hold everything up are gone so of course reassemble the mould give it a really good clean as you would with uh, degreasing a mould and then try again but you'll find that that will um, pretty much solve that issue uh, this is also good if you've got a mould, like an iron mould, that might have a bit of rust in it if it's been neglected. And <clears throat> it's also a way of enlarging the cavity of a mould. And so, you know, this one casts at about 310, 311. If you wanted to take it out to 312 or 313, you could do that as well. Now, the third thing is mould alignment. So we've got a lovely Lyman mould here. And a few years back I had a little Lyman uh, 3220 mould that threw very out of round bullets. And on closer investigation I discovered that these alignment holes on this side had been slugged out because the mould had been abused and not really looked after. So what I did is I cleaned these up, made sure that they were uh, nice and free of any burrs or anything like that. And then with our pins on the, this side of the mould, we can turn it over and we can, with a pin punch, push these, carry these uh, pins a little further out so that they just protrude just a fraction more on this side and make sure everything is nice and firm and tight again. So that's just a bit of wear from a bit of neglect really, but it's enough to make your bullets three thou out of round very, very easily. So there's um, three little tips there. I hope that's been of some help. Until next time.